Vehicle security is of increasing concern to all customers. And with this in mind, Skoda have fitted as standard a high security immobilizer system to the Felicia. This new system, unlike any other previously fitted to Skoda models, is activated each time the ignition is switched on. It's important for the technician to understand fully the immobilizer's operation in order to repair the system and to appreciate how it interacts with the engine management system. You'll find additional information about the immobilizer's construction and function in the self-study book number 9. Repair instructions are within repair group 96 of the repair manual. The immobilizer comprises ignition key with integrated transponder, inductive reading coil, which fits around the steering lock, immobilizer control unit, and the engine management control unit. The ignition key transponder, which works by induction and thus doesn't require a battery, is programmed with a unique permanent code. On starting the engine, the immobilizer control unit transmits a voltage signal via the reading coil to the transponder. The transponder answers by transmitting its permanent code back to the immobilizer control unit, which compares the incoming code with that stored in its memory. The immobilizer then compares a second random code coming from the engine management control unit with that already stored in its memory. If the codes match, the engine continues to run. If they don't, then the engine stops after about two seconds. After every successful starting of the engine, the random code stored in the immobilizer's memory is erased. A new code, produced by a random code generator in the engine control unit, is then sent to the immobilizer control unit where it is once again stored for future comparison. The transmission of data between the engine control unit and the immobilizer is sent via a data cable. The random code, which changes each time the engine is started, prevents a thief from starting the engine by bypassing the immobilizer. The immobilizer system has self-diagnosis to simplify fault-finding and to allow certain functions to be carried out. For this work, you'll need the VAG 1552. We'll show you how to use the 1552 shortly, but first, here's an important point to remember about the immobilizer system. The immobilizer control unit is programmed at the factory with a 14-digit identification number and a 4-digit secret code. The secret code will be required in the future to enable new keys to be accepted by the immobilizer control unit. The secret code can be found only under the scratch-off panel on the key tag which is supplied when the car is new. Therefore, it's important that, firstly, for security, the tag is removed by the customer, and secondly, that it's kept in a safe place for future reference. So, let's now look at some of the occasions when you may need to use the VAG 1552. As we've already explained, each ignition key has a unique permanent code. Two keys are supplied with the car when it's new, and the immobilizer control unit is programmed to recognize the code from either key. If a customer requires additional keys, or replaces one which has been lost, then the immobilizer control unit must be reprogrammed to recognize the codes of the complete set of keys. Furthermore, if the engine control unit is replaced, then the engine will not start again until the random code stored in the immobilizer's memory has been erased using the 1552.
The VAG 1552 can interrogate and cancel the immobilizer's fault memory, reprogram the immobilizer to recognize new or additional ignition keys, and erase the random code from the immobilizer's memory, allowing a new engine management control unit to be fitted and the engine to be started. We'll begin by showing you how to interrogate the fault memory. If you haven't used the VAG 1552 before, then we suggest you view the tape the VAG 1552. It explains its basic functions and operation. Don't forget, it's not necessary to remember every operation we show you in this video. It's only designed as a guide. Always use the repair manual to lead you through the 1552 sequences. If a customer complains that the engine won't start, then you need to determine whether the fault is with the immobilizer system or with the engine. Generally, if the engine starts but stops after about two seconds, then it's likely that the fault is with the immobilizer system. If, on the other hand, the engine doesn't start at all, then it's unlikely to be a fault with the immobilizer system, and you'll need to investigate further. For example, begin by checking the fault memory of the engine management control unit. However, as in this example, the engine starts and then stops, we'll begin by checking the immobilizer system. Using the adapter lead VAG 1551-3, stroke connect the 1552 to the diagnosis socket. It's near to the fuse box on left-hand drive cars and under the driver's side of the dash on right-hand drive models. With the ignition on, enter the address code 25 for immobilizer and move forward to the function menu. Enter function code 02 to read the fault memory. If a fault is detected, then you'll need to repair it and erase the fault memory before testing further. In this example, it's the data cable which is defective. That's the cable which transmits the signals from the immobilizer to the engine control unit. The fault in this instance is easy to find and repair. The cable passes through a connector under the bonnet, and as you can see, it's become disconnected. If the fault memory doesn't show any faults, then it's likely that the cause of the engine failing to start is elsewhere and not within the immobilizer system. In these instances, after checking the engine control unit's fault memory, you'll need to check thoroughly the fuel delivery and ignition circuits, as you would for any vehicle which won't start. Incidentally, if when interrogating the engine control unit's memory, it displays the fault control unit blocked, then this too indicates that there is a problem with the immobilizer system. To locate the problem, check the immobilizer's fault memory as we've just described. Now let's look at how to program the immobilizer control unit to recognize new keys. With the ignition switched on, proceed to the function menu as per interrogating the fault memory. Enter function code 11 and then check the secret number. Remember, this can be found only on the tag which is attached to the keys when the car is supplied new. Add a zero to the beginning of the secret number and enter it. If you accidentally enter the wrong number twice, you'll have to wait for 30 minutes with the ignition switched on before you can try again. Next, enter function code 10 
for adaptation. And the channel number 01. Press Q to confirm. Use the vertical arrow keys to select the number of keys you require the immobilizer to recognize. In this example, it's two. The immobilizer can be programmed to recognize up to eight keys, but all the keys must be done at the same time. If at a later date the customer requires an additional key, then all the keys must be entered again. Now move forward through the next two menus by pressing the Q button until the display reads changed value is stored. The first key is then removed from the ignition lock and the second inserted. Switch on the ignition for two seconds and turn it off again to complete the sequence. If you're programming more than two keys, insert the next key, turn the ignition on and repeat the procedure for the remaining keys. The maximum time allowed to complete the procedure for the total number of keys is 30 seconds. Finally, here's what to do if the customer has lost the secret code number for the immobilizer. Use the 1552 to call up the immobilizer's identification number and note it down. Then telephone the Skoda hotline with the identification number. They will ring you back with the secret number. They will, of course, require some proof of ownership. If you replace the engine control unit at any time, then the car will not start again until the immobilizer control unit's random code has first been erased. If you remember from earlier, the random code originates in the engine control unit. With the ignition switched on, enter the address code 25 and move forward to the function menu. Enter function code 10 and then the channel number 00. At the screen displaying Erase Learned Values, press Q to confirm. Next, press the horizontal arrow key and then turn off the ignition. The ignition should then be switched back on for about two seconds to complete the sequence. The engine can then be started. With this latest security innovation, Skoda reinforces its commitment to designing quality and reliable cars which offer exceptional value for money. Skoda is also renowned for caring for its customers. We hope therefore that you will provide all of your customers with the best possible service.